Okay, so what I've done is I've actually redone it and I've actually locked the uh, system to some gear. Okay, and you can see the planning system is going. What I've done is I've connected the what would be the drive shaft from the engine into the actual clutch of the uh, lathe. Okay, so what's happening is is that the, the lathe is now taking the place of the uh, internal combustion engine. Okay, and so this is when it's stationary. So this is a function that it would be if it was actually generating electricity. And as you can see, there's the sun gear, and it's spinning like a badminton. <laughs> I think mean, it's pretty cool. I don't know what the speed of the lathe is that um, It's obviously reasonably fast. That's probably as fast as the engine would run it. Uh, you know, it's somewhere around idle speed, I guess, or maybe even above. So I was just checking to see what it was like when it was running in the engine. So the lathe is taking the place of the internal combustion engine, which I'm using the 650cc uh, Fiat engine. And we're locking, because we're going to do this, we're going to lock the uh, sun gear so that it doesn't travel. Okay. I uh, don't know how, but I'll work that one out later. And then the sun gear, which is in the middle, that will be driving the generator, right? And it's obviously it's going to be going at quite high speed. It should give us the voltage that we want now. I don't know what voltage that's going to be. There we go. So you can see now. There we go. Now I've stopped it. I can get the light to be on it. You can see that a very small turn. So you can see what the ratio is. There you go, see? So the internal combustion engine is spinning because that's the jaws of the lathe and the sun gear is the bit that's spinning. It's about, I think it's, from all accounts, it's 3.6 to 1, but I'll work it out later. You see? Yeah? So you can see it all running now. I don't know how well the light is because the light's a bit crap in this. But there you go, you can get it. And that's how it will work in a real life situation because that will be connected to MG1, the generator, and then that will then transfer power to MG2, which will then drive the um, the actual ring gear as well so you're getting a gear ratio through the electrics as if it were <coughs> yeah so that's how it would work if it was just charging you see because the ring gear is locked which is what it would be if it was stationary yeah so obviously this gearbox still works and what I'm going to do is reuse this gearbox now on the generator lock the ring gear to the chassis of the generator and then that will obviously be in the uh, armature the rotor of the generator and then somehow, I haven't worked it out, but somehow the shaft which actually goes through to the other side of the generator I'm going to be fastening to the engine so then it will be as it was originally in the pre- yeah so that's pretty good actually obviously you're now seeing this epicyclic gearbox working real time no animations, this is the real thing <laughs> I just thought I'd put that on so that YouTubers and people who are interested in Prius could actually see one working. Yeah, because it probably isn't. I haven't seen one yet, basically, where somebody's actually put one on that's actually running. You can see it real time. It's usually inside a gearbox. All right, then. we'll call.